Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our monthly newsletter video. And as usual, I figured that we can just jump right into the updates that we have. So the first that we have here, and I think this is really important for a lot of members and supporters in our community, is that our scientific team will be making a series of presentations over the next couple of weeks detailing some of the techniques and the approaches they'll be taking with the surgery for human clinical trials. And of course, I think it's really good to get some information from them that we can post and share the relevant details on, since a lot of our supporters have questions about how we're going to how we're going to be doing this, what kind of techniques we're going to use in the trial, and just to give me some kind of general questions and concerns they have. And getting information and basically these presentations directly from the scientists, I think, will go a very long way to helping answer some of these questions. So, you know, keep an eye on our social media. We'll be posting it there. Obviously, we want to put it out in our newsletter, and we want to make sure that people get access to the information. So. Keep an eye out for the next couple of weeks, and we'll be sharing some of that, uh, some of those things with you. And the next thing that we have, of course, is we actually have a completely redesigned donation page, courtesy of Oscar Perez and Mason Michaelic. They're actually part of our web team, and they've actually put a lot of work into redesigning it and making it just, you know, you know the, the the previous one we had just had a lot of information on it, and it wasn't as maybe as simple as a, a flow for the user. But now they kind of put a lot of work into it and they redesigned it so that way it's just a much simpler experience. So if someone's coming to our page and they want to support the project or donate, it's just going to be simpler for them to get through that and to you know find the information they need or pick the donation that they want. Um, so you know, kudos goes to both of them. Uh, both Oscar and Mason, they're really talented guys and they put a lot of work and effort into getting that page out there. So and obviously that'll of course boost our project too so we can get you know an increase in donations that helps to you know fund our work and and make sure that we can continue to do what we do. And the next update that I have is that our chief science officer, Eric Cunningham, he put together a little bit of a post, and actually quite a detailed and long one, kind of describing the concept of biocompatibility as well as biomaterials and why it's really very important for our work. And in fact, it was actually really kind of the focus of the rat model part of the animal trial. And it's kind of, it's a concept that he goes into a lot of detail here and explains why it's really important, not just, you know, in the field in general, but also for our specific technique and how we're going to, how it's going to basically play a role in making the solution we have be effective and successful. So if you give that a read, it's actually really quite interesting. I think he really puts a lot of, he put a lot of time into this and to kind of help people understand why this is a, it plays such a big role in the work that we're doing and the technique, for example, that our chief scientist, Dr. Bondioli developed and why it's been also been used successfully and other applications, and why we're also confident that it'll be su- successful in the human clinical trial that we have. And to sum up, with our last uh, update here, we actually had Forge and donors come together and raise a total of over cl- well, close to $14,000 in the month of February, and about $610 in new recurring donations. And of course, you know, our thanks goes to the community. Um, they obviously are the ones who helped to make this project successful and have contributed and, and have done all kinds of work and put a lot of effort into bringing things to where it is today. And of course, we look forward to sharing more news with you in future newsletters and other updates that we'll be sharing on social media. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time and take care. Mm -hmm.